Once upon a time, there were three sisters, Leah, Faye, and Farah. They lived together and got along fine, but poor Farah was the one who always did the work. No one forced her to, but Leah favored Faye and used her cleverness to guilt Farah into doing all the work, making her think it was her duty. But Faye had a secret of which no one knew. Every night, Leah and Faye would go out to parties and leave poor Farah home all alone to do all the work by herself. Dear Farah, here's a list of chores. Clean chimney, sweep, mop, dust, fix carriage. Love always, Leah. But one night, someone showed up that Farah didn't expect. Oh, my dear old lady, come in. What brings you to my fair home, dear lady? I was wondering why you weren't at the party with your sisters. Dear lady, I have things to do. Should that hold you back? What of your sisters? I am grateful to them for their kindness. They require not much of me. You should go to the party. You deserve it for the work you have done. I have not much to wear and not much time. What gown would you like? I've always dreamed of a flowing white gown. That's just a fancy of mine. You want that? Are you my fairy godmother? It's for me to know and for you to find out. To the party you go and have fun. Thank you. So Farah went to the party and had a wonderful time, but she soon had to hurry home before her sisters got back. Farah had this feeling. She couldn't explain it, but she just knew her special night out had something to do with Faye. That night, Leah and Faye left to go to parties as usual, again leaving Farah behind. But once again, the old woman came. Come in, come in. Why are you at the party with your sisters? Well, actually, I haven't really thought about it. You go to that party. Now let's get you into your dress. Thank you, once again. It's my wonderful dress. You're welcome. Now, go have a good time. Okay. Bye. Thanks. So once again, Farah went to the party, but soon had to come home before her sisters got back. You guys are back again! 